especially my favorite topic uh, on um, <laughs> the mercury uttama rasvait jastu madhyama muli karyapihi i am madhyama so uh, i i salute all the uttamas there the ultimate fortunately unfortunately today we are debating about uh, the the latest and the best uh, 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 contribution to the science of ayurveda that is rashastra yeah these kind of challenges have uh, come several times and perished and uh, the same should happen in this context also but the matter is a little serious but it can be addressed uh, in 2013 uh, along with uh, dr katoch uh, we made a, a detailed uh, what do you call uh, in depth uh, survey into what actually prompted uh, undp to look at it the history starts from 2007 i don't want to get into that just if you all agree uh, with my due respects to uh, professor uh, why the harshinder sharma ji and uh, other senior colleagues and uh, my other colleagues i'll share my small ppt which i just prepared uh, uh, in the afternoon just i came back and i was speaking to dr katyar also he he's, he must be traveling now from uh, visakhapatnam to delhi but we had a, a, a detailed discussion in the morning on the same subject just i will share uh, hope my screen is visible now yes yes kindly go for slide so yes clear right so the curious mercury that that's how uh, i want we are all curious uh, uh, why i want to say i felt people are worried don't get worried as rightly mentioned by dr katoch in the beginning and uh, ably supported by mr ranjit puranik a little concern is required and we should be showing our curiosity uh, so that it, it the entire matter will be uh, taken up a little easy the context is as you all know uh, there was a proposal by a ban uh, by the zero mercury working group and started in 2007 140 countries have signed in january 2013 that's the major point and uh, if you all remember the first meeting held uh, between the industry and uh, the ministry of ayush at that time uh, uh, was in uh, uh, june 2013 and uh, there was a concluding meeting again uh, by the zero mercury working group in 2013 and they wanted to implement it in 2015 and they started many countries even who banned uh, the uses of uh, mercury in uh, dentistry completely and bulbs and other paints industry completely so they were actually uh, targeting this ban uh, and completion of uh, this work by 2020 uh, but but uh, various factors so this is the 2017 uh, gazit notification and this is the latest uh, document which you are talking about as rightly discussed the previously just and touched this uh, this document speaks about the restricted category so that's that's the crux it is a restricted category no more free category this is because after 2020 it is expected to be there in the list of restricted items okay so therefore it is there and uh, we need a panicky we should be alert and with a concerted effort uh, what do you call uh, efforts we can uh, definitely come out so why it is banned who is banning and uh, what are all the concerns what we have as i rightly mentioned uh, is uh, considered one of the uh, categories of heavy metal wear uh, we we have concerns of its uh, neurotoxicity and then nephrotoxicity but friends let us remember one thing this gate country which doesn't have a drop of uh, mercury with it or doesn't have even uh, uh, one uh, pinch of uh, gold in this country is master in both the sciences let us remember that's the beauty of rashastra and uh, 80 has become 79 that means if you allow a pair of electrons to leave the outer shell it is a d shell element and it becomes uh, gold your 80 becomes 79 and with the same uh, what you call uh, method, method or uh, technology 
we are producing atom bombs. So that is the beauty of uh, Russia Astra. Instead of producing an atom bomb, we have produced gold. Let us tell to the scientific world that is the beauty of what we have and that's the kind of science we have. Therefore, they start first of all listening to us. So there are reasons, definite reasons. If you use the illegal use, which was resulting in a lot of uh, what you call um, adultery, rather pollution, and the artisanal gold. If you look at uh, islands of uh, Indonesia and uh, some of the African countries, the real problem is the artisanal gold. And uh, this leads to a lot of uh, cyanides into the nature and uh, uses in dentistry, organic mercury in, uh, found in seafoods and organic, inorganic mercury used by industries, especially caustic industry uses it as an, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, 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 a, a, uh, definite uh, tool for uh, accentuating some of the chemical process and thereby the pollution is more. And the Minimata disease, again, though we are talking about Minimata disease, I have the 25th year uh, report on Minimata disease. Uh, and and uh, to my surprise, not even one eighth of the expected uh, toxicities found with Minimata uh, Research uh, Institute. It, it should be an eye opener for many people who are even worried about uh, the uh, the so called uh, methyl mercury or uh, organic mercury. See, we are we are living with apprehensions. I I am aware minimata disease caused a lot of uh, neurological uh, symptoms and toxicity. But when I studied for twenty five years, please take the report. I have the report with me. So these are the kind of uh, scientific documents which will make us to feel confident and it gives confidence to the counterparts who are worried about the toxicity. It is mostly the methyl mercury. This is something which we want to tell them. We are not using organic mercury. That is, we are not using methyl mercury. We are using the inorganic mercury and that too mostly associated with sulfur which is a stable uh, compound and and uh, it doesn't uh, give rise to any kind of side effects so these are the five countries india is not among the five <laughs> what you call uh, countries which are uh, producing mercury india is not among the top five countries which are uh, importing mercury so so we have to tell the uh, the ministry of environment forest that you should be the last and least to worry about india and again, I have given uh, the USA statistics of many countries, China lists this. The real problem, what we are going to face, the moment this trafficking or the, even a regular supply is uh, uh, going to be restricted, the availability will come down. And that's the reason where the supply and demand, where Mr. Ranjit Puranik was mentioning, the prices are going to go up. According to uh, a, a serious estimate, not just a serious estimate, somewhere between 60 to 70 metric tons are sufficient for the entire Indian traditional use. Nothing more, nothing less. And I'll come to that. So these are the lot of uh, statistics available. Uh, on this slide, if you see, about 1300 odd total mercury uh, tons are used, both inorganic or organic, whereas the inorganic compound is less than 500 uh, metric tons or around 500 metric tons in that also it is noticed about 399 tons are not being traced properly so that's the concern so if you apply this particular restricted category the aim of the government of india is to track so let us not get worried and just track it. Therefore, there is no serious threat to us, but there will be a control on uh, the total uh, uses of mercury. Then who is banning it as we discussed? It is an NGO which started it and in Delhi also you have uh, a South Asian uh, center and then uh, UNDP is uh, seriously working and uh, already 140 countries have signed and these are known and these are some of the NGOs who are uh, still working and this is what uh, I was mentioning uh, in January it was uh, first of all agreed by 140 countries India is also signatory to this and the, con the concerns our ban like uh, you have seen uh, uh, Professor uh, Chaudhary from uh, BHO had uh, published a lot of articles on this 
but uh, it is the base for our rashastra okay so when it is the base for rashastra let us uh, give the highlights you have kajli hingula rasindura kalvi rasayana and kupi pakora rasayana these are the categories so what i noticed many times we unnecessarily use the word effluence and effluence let us use it uh, in a restricted oh. manner when you are binding it it is not mercury which is coming out whether you have used simple kajali or then parpati which i missed here or hingal or kupi pakwa or kalvi rasayan you are binding it no way you are going to release free mercury this is some point which we have to vociferously put forward and dr galib and prajapati dr prajapati both are there they are uh, uh, one one is uh, the pharmacovigilance the other one is the pharmacopeia commission and then uh, they, they can really take this message forward therefore the methyl mercury related neurotoxicity need not be attributed to our formulations uh, which is the actual concern and uh, it is there right from the 500 bc another major mistake what we have done we produced as if that uh, Uh, Rashastra is only second century onwards. No, 500 BC also Charak Samhita. You have uh, Rasaushadis, and I will quote uh, Rigveda uh, references. My um, friend and colleague Dr. Raju Rai, who is PhD in Rashastra, is surprised when I have shown three references from Rigveda and Ayurveda Bhasmas. Even in Charak Samhita, we find the reference of Bhasma. Uh, it, it may not be extensive. क्षाराक्षीरम परम पुष्प भस्म तैला कंटक भस्म एज बीन मेन इन द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ चरक सूत्र स्थान एंड त्रप भस्म हरत वर्ण नाग भस्म वॉज मेन इन ऋग्वेद लोह भस्म वॉज मेन इन ऋग्वेद सो दीज वर् देर आलरेडी इन द वेदिक लिटरेचर सो वी हेव टू टेल दम दिस यूसेज आलो लाइक वैस द I, I just uh, get to the availability. This is more important. Uh, already we have collated most of the information is available. All India Institute of Medical Sciences, uh, New Delhi, has published uh, three four uh, papers, and many modern research institutes have published papers, and peer-reviewed journals have published papers, and uh, the formulations. If you look at formulations, always I admired in the nineteenth and twentieth century. most successful formulations are rasaushadi based whether you take uh, uh, your uh, uh, jerry fort you take uh, uh, the other just i'm quoting don't uh, mistake me you take the name of uh, your abana you take uh, leaf 52 kind of formulations which are being extensively prescribed by modern physicians that's the context uh, which i'm trying to mention here are all having uh, the mercury uh, of course not leaf 52 other things so if you categorize these are the top 100 uh, formulations just i collated which are a threat so we should have a second action plan in the event we have a compulsion of uh, foregoing some quantities of mercury we should also have a open mind and we have to give the alternative approach uh, let us start working in this direction for example yogaratnakara vaidya chintamani have given ras sindura ingula as the substitutes for kajli also now when i enumerated other than you kupi pakora sayana most of the other formulations can be properly handled with this so therefore we should see that they will not dwell into the cinnabar related compounds because in india you have a lot of mercury uh, sulfide related ores available in various places so we can uh, look into that we are and other areas uh, jharkhand there are there are reports uh, that we can uh, look into and uh, then the usage of the uh, mercury can be brought down this is something which we can definitely uh, look into and finally this is the conclusion what i want to so precisely three four points the traditional light uh, i i am in line with uh, what uh, dr katoch and mr ranjit puranik were saying the traditional use of mercury is to be uh maintained for the uh industry every if required with a separate set of regulations so this is uh, the crux of the story everything fits into it for that rashastra since it is the latest and most efficient alpamatra yopayuktat 
ಹರಿಚೇರ ಪ್ರಸಂಗಟ ಕ್ಷಿಪ್ರಮ್ ಆರೋಗ್ಯದಾಯಿತ್ವಾತ್ ವಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ದಮ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸೀ ದಟ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಸಿದ್ಧ ಯುನಾನಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಯುಷ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ದಿ ಯೂಸೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆರ್ಕಿನಿ ಬೈ ಆಯುಷ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಇಸ್ ಲೆಸ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಪುಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗ್ಲೋಬಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಎಂಟಿಟಿ ದೇ ಶುಡ್ ಅಲೋ ದಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಯು ಮೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಯೂಸೇಜ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಮೆರಿಕನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಬೈ ಎಂ ಓ ಎ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಎಂಫಸೈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಟು ದೆಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಓರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆರ್ಕರಿ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಬ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಬ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನಲ್ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಸೇಜ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ದಿ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಎಲೋವಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ಟು ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮೈ ವ್ಯೂಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಗಸ್ಟ್ ಗ್ಯಾದರಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಕೀನ್ ಟು ಲಿಸನ್ ಟು ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಒಪಿನಿಯನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟು ಕ್ಲಾರಿಫೈ ಇಫ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಅಗೇನ್ ಐ ಕಂಗ್ರಾಟ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ ಈಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ಸ್ who have uh, provided their points uh, I, i was noting down most of them again <clears throat> just to make a little amendment to what uh, dr madan was saying we should not get distracted that's the message that dr madan had given and absolutely right we should not get distracted from our uh, focus that we need mercury for our uh, formulations and practice in the process we need to convince uh, a section of people who have more muscle than anybody else in the world therefore i narrated uh, uh, the, the the two three important points that uh, there is no threat like uh, methyl mercury versus the inorganic bound mercury compounds we are using we will, we should we, we should tell them we are not using and second thing uh when when availability of the mercury itself is going to be a challenge my sincere submission to all of you will there are sources where your uh, 99.999% uh, pure mercury is available today okay so let us ensure that the supply should not come down uh, as uh, rightly uh, pointed out by mr ranjit puranik in the beginning it is the actual uh, need of the r to address the escalating prices uh we should it up like anything and that is a direct indication that there is a reduction in the supply therefore the acceleration in the price it, it is a uh, inversely proportional and it is uh, visible quite visible so immediately a group of people from industry should come together and procure at least four five times the volume that is required on behalf of uh, this thing is a sincere suggestion i have given to my company also and maybe in the large interest of the organization i am heading a, a one of the uh, industry associations as on date and uh, ranjit puranik ji and others are also there i am part of their associations also let us quickly work on this like uh, today if i look at dut papeshwar they have done human service uh, for praval and today many of the industry uh, members are benefited by his endeavor uh, uh, decade uh, decade and of back so maybe such similar effort needs to be taken up immediately because it the, the volumes are procured at least before the negotiations go on because we know many times with government you require a lot of time we have seen this especially in biodiversity <laughs> okay so that, that that kind of a longer incubation periods would require other measures also and the third one what i was mentioning as a unit let us come together to minimize the volume uses of mercury by looking at the alternate sources uh, i have done some work when uh, we make the document we make a chapter for that uh, again i quote uh, yog ratnakar and uh, vaidya chintamani where certain places uh, the replacement of uh, rasabasma and kajli has been provided so if you do use those uh, ores uh, like hingul and uh, rasindor in those formulations probably will uh, not use the imports of mercury that will also give a uh, ease to the government to consider so all of them as a package okay and then people understand that, okay these guys have done their homework they know uh, what is exactly the problem let me tell you i have a about 200 side presentation 
which has nothing to do with our Ayurveda part. And if I show that, all of you, there will be no exception. If you are a human being, you will vote for banning Mercury. That's the kind of disaster that is happening in the name of Mercury. Any caustic industry is using this as a, 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 a tool and then that is leading to a uh, lot of pollution. Then uh, balls, uh, even uh, amalgams used in dentistry, uh, there are so many, and uh, artisanal uh, mercury. That's the real problem. There's a mafia working across the globe. And uh, that's the reason why uh, actually the ban has been imposed. There's a valid reason. So we cannot ignore the public cause. At the same time, we have to succeed in our own uh, effort also. So creating uh, the balance through our document is very essential. And I know uh, with uh, people like uh, Ranjit Ji and others, uh, we, we can definitely make a good document and impress anybody. And the scientific literature, recently also we submitted some scientific literature. Dr. Ghalib is also aware of that. Use data is available today, uh, even on mercurial uh, formulation safety efficacy front and special toxicity studies are also available. So I don't think, and most importantly, I want to quote one thing. Please go through the 25 years <laughs> report on Minimata disease. It will be an eye opener for people who consider mercury, methyl mercury as a, a, a highly toxic. It is not the case, it's not my report. It's 25 years report and uh, they were decided to, what do you call, uh, go away with many of the serious restrictions they've imposed. Uh, and uh, wonder, wonderful, the, the, uh, I, I have the report. I will, I will definitely share it with uh, Pavanji and you can uh, circulate with other members. So once we get focused on a single point, isn't that sustainable supply of uh, uh, mercury with substantial evidences why we need this over. And uh, I think uh, it will not be a big deal. So with this, I conclude and uh, I once again thank all the organizers, especially the learned uh, members uh, of this uh, entire gathering for uh, allowing me to express my points and uh, li patiently listening to us and uh, we will definitely get connected again. Thank you one and all. Thank you. Thank you. You remember reminded me one thing, Dr. Sastri. When I completed my MD in 1989 uh, from Jamnagar under Professor Harishankar Sharma, he was very much enthusiastic about Ras Basma. He conducted one seminar in Sri Shalam, Lohanam Maranam Sreshtam Sarvesham Ras Basmana, to decide what is the Ras Basma actually. I don't know. Prajapati ji is there. Now, also after 33 years, whether our scientists are having unanimous voice, where which is the Ras Basma and which should be used for Maran of Loha. I don't know. And second okay. information, before calling to our respected DC Katoji for concluding remark, last information, sir, please attend these uh, webinars, number one, and on 2nd November, we are conducting unique competition of Dhanvantari Stuti competition with or without music. That will be a competition of unique style. I hope overwhelming yeah. response from the competitor. Seven, yes, please. Yes, Shastriji. Yeah, Shastriji just, I, I forgot to share one thing to boost up the confidence of uh, the all the members here. Of course, uh, you're all uh, learned people and experienced. My mother is 40, running 45th of her diabetes and probably she might have developed all the complications of diabetes if she might not have used uh, mercurial compounds last 45 years every day, morning and evening. Okay, every six months we do her uh, LFT, RFT, there is no change. So anybody really wanted to know, 45 years. One Vasanta Kusumakar morning and evening, one Chandra Prabhavati having Kajali base morning, evening. And what else? And likewise, people are there 21 years, about 35 milligrams of Rasindor morning and evening, they are live. And uh, the calcified uh, aortic valve has been managed and the data is available. And uh, some of the cardiologists are associated with these findings where Hingul, along with some uh, spices have been administered. And likewise, my point here is 
when we look at our clinical experiences, as I mentioned by some of the speakers earlier, this gives real confidence. This, this is a real time, uh, what you call observation. Uh, these, these are not uh, the stories which are there in your 220 Rashastra books. You don't require. You pick up uh, top uh, 20 uh, Rasavaidyas of this country, they will give you uh, experiences beyond uh, life. So, uh, and, and especially the kind of uh, formulations Dut Papeshwar and others have done, Unja and many people have contributed. They stand as example. So, collate that information and get into. I think we will succeed. I, I, I don't see much problem. We need a concept.